From St. Louis City to the Metro East, lines are stretching for blocks as the demand for COVID-19 tests grow throughout our area. This is News 4 at 10. I'm Samantha Jones. Corey has the night off. The rush to get tested after Christmas comes after Illinois encounters a massive surge in cases. And as the Omicron variant spreads like wildfire in our community, Alexis Otos breaks down how to navigate the mad dash for tests. Well, right now in Illinois, they are working to increase staffing and adding hours at vaccine booster sites as well as those mass testing sites. This as we are seeing a huge spike in cases and these latest numbers, while well, they don't even include possible new cases from Christmas gatherings or the upcoming New Year's Eve festivities. The line of cars for free COVID testing at St. Clair Square Mall just kept going. We expected a wait. The Heckelman family waited two hours for tests. We got tested today because we had Christmas with my family, and then we also traveled to Mexico for a wedding. For Rita Powers, it was her symptoms that got her in line. I developed a really sore throat yesterday, and I'm very congested. She also spent the holidays with family. We had Christmas with our family. I just want to be sure that I don't have COVID or Omicron, and if so, we need to quarantine. It was a similar scene on the other side of the river in St. Louis. A testing site at the IBW Hall saw huge crowds of people seeking testing. In Illinois, the state recorded the highest ever number of positive cases on Christmas Eve. Hospitalizations are rising, but they are not at peak levels. But one healthcare system says there's a common factor. 300 patients in our hospitals today, 85% are not vaccinated. The math's pretty straightforward. Dr. Michael Cruz of OSF Healthcare in Illinois says they're stopping COVID testing for those who are asymptomatic because of the high demand. Instead, telling those people to go to sites like this one at St. Clair Mall. And he says the message needs to continue that vaccines and boosters are key. Out of the four people in this car, three of us are fully vaccinated and boosted. And so we've got one four-year-old who unfortunately is not. So even though we are seeing those that are vaccinated and boosted test positive, doctors continue to say the vast majority who are getting hospitalized are not vaccinated. So a big question we're hearing is, should you get tested? Illinois health officials say yes, especially if you've got a scratchy throat or other symptoms. But what if you can't find a test? Well, that perhaps is going to get a little bit easier. The Biden administration today put out a memo saying they were going to use FEMA funding to provide more testing sites across the state. Sam. A lot to track there. Alexis, thank you.